Well, it's been a little minute since I last uploaded this series, but we're finally back here with Super Metroid, and now that we have the Varia suit, we can control our... or we can travel through Norfair with any ease. Forgive my voice for being a little off, i currently having some allergic reaction to something in the air, I don't know. To be honest, as much as I love playing Super Metroid, I just haven't really made any time for it. I've been busy with either work, streams, other videos... We're finally back at it, we're here in Norfair, where there's a lot of things we gotta do before we can just progress normally. Norfair is a weird place where, if you're using exploits to get by, you will not have much trouble. But if you're playing things the normal way, which is what I'm gonna try and do, it takes a little time, let's just say. It just takes some time, little girl, in a little outfit. Okay, exploit area number one. If you wanna do exploits, you can just go up there, uh, using magic. But we're not gonna do that, we're gonna go the normal way, which is down this hole and through a long path. And when I say exploits, I don't mean things that are cheating devices, I don't mean game genies or game sharks. I'm talking specifically about, uh, using one of the game's mechanics against it. Or rather, maybe just using it to its fullest. I don't know, however you want to describe it. Don't worry, we'll get up there soon and we'll get what we're looking for, we just have to go a bit of a long way. This room, the lava is ascending, we just gotta go past all these rocks, avoid these alien guys. These guys just poke out of the wall and shoot a little fire projectile, but we currently can't do any damage to them, as you can see. I love how Norfair seems so intense and hot in this game. I mean, look at the background, how it's kind of just... moving in a way. Alright, exploitation area number two in Norfair. Through that red door is an area... well, I might as well just show it. Past these platforms here, avoid the fire... Here, we can at least get this missile expansion right here, but what we're mainly coming here for is an upgrade way beyond those silver pluses, and if we try to go there just on our own, it's not going to go well, as you can see. It's another area where you can use an exploit to get up there early without the power-up that's kind of required. In fact, there are two ways you can exploit that area, but we won't talk on that just yet. I know I'm being a bit vague, but don't worry, all of this stuff will be explained very soon. But in the meantime, we're finally up here where we wanted to be before, and through this super missile doors we can get another power up. Up here we go. And there's some enemies giving you health there, but the main thing is we need to rush through this room to get through all the falling platforms and past these enemies here. And as we come down here, we reach a missile door, nothing new. You will notice the lava is slowly starting to rise, so. Yeah, we need to be a bit fast in that area, and here we get a brand new power-up, the Speed Booster. Now, the Speed Booster is a very, very useful item. As soon as we hold down the run button, we'll start to gain this blue power, and eventually it allows us to move very fast and store some energy that bursts through enemies and bursts through some particular blocks. Blocks that we've actually seen before, I'll show you. We can just backtrack by going down this room. There's more of the silver pluses up there that we can't quite get to. In this room here, wait a minute, it's next room. In this room here, we, using the speed booster, we can break through all of these blocks we could not before. So, this allows us to kind of quickly backtrack to the save room, which is attached to the first shaft where we entered Norfair. Speed booster will also allow us, it can't go through those yellow doors, we still don't have a solution for that. But the speed booster will allow us to go through this room here where we couldn't get through before. And through here we have a very important power up. Going through this door up here first, you'll notice there's nothing we can do in this room. It, it seems these little balls are jumping up in the lava, but we can't get anywhere. What we need to do is go down here and use the morph ball to... Shit. Alright, let's redo. What we need to do is... There we go, okay. We gotta get through here, and this gives us a brand new power-up. Well... Okay, not brand new power-up. Brand new for this game, the Ice Beam. Classic Metroid power-up, it was in both of the previous games, and I like that in this game... Okay, first of all, it retains the same feature from the original two, where it freezes enemies before it actually kills them, which I'm usually not a fan of. But here, it's also our main method for dealing with a lot of these Norfair enemies who can only be frozen, like so. Uh, it also can be turned off in the Samus menu that we've seen before. Also, why am I leaving? There's something else we have to do there. At least, something else we can do. We might as well. Just kind of show off the ice beam a bit more. Back in this room with these guys, we can now freeze these enemies and use them as platforms. It's a very subtle way of kind of teaching you how it works without, you know, shoving a tutorial box in your face like, Press this to do this! Don't you know that the ice beam allows you to walk on enemies? But I believe... Now that we have the ice beam, we might have to go back to Brinstar. 
to obtain a power-up. Because there's nothing else in Norfair we can do, if you think about it. Every door is either blocked by something behind a wall we can't get to, something with those silver pluses we can't get to, or a yellow door. And this is why Norfair can be kind of annoying on your first playthrough. You're just trying to figure out where to go and you're having all this difficulty. This is also why where you would normally get the Spazer, I should say, without doing the little exploit we did, is if you freeze this guy as he comes towards you and use him as a platform to get up here, uh, to then... What would you normally do up here? Let's see. You don't know, it was the high jump boots that allow us to get up here now. Either way, you would get it on your way back here to Brinstar, because we do need to backtrack a bit. Most every Metroid game has a bit of backtracking, it's kind of to be expected. Although I always love when the level design is kind of smart, and it brings you back to areas you've been to without having you walk just directly back the same way. We kind of have to do that here, but it's not the end of the world. We are doing something different in that we're using the ice beam to ascend this shaft, using the enemies, of course. And we have another one of those yellow doors we can get through. But, as we go further up, we have some unexplored territory this way, and more enemies we can freeze and use to ascend. And we kind of need to because we have to first break through this bit of uh, ceiling here, and then use the enemies, so... Even if you're doing the exploit kind of wall jump tactic that I'd shown up before, it won't really work there. As we travel through this area, a new explored area, Brinstar, you'll notice the door became yellow behind us, so we can't get back now. And all that's in there is a save room we don't have to worry about. But we do have this door here. And you'll notice all of these flowers have one of those guys in them, except the very last one. So take note of that last one, because we can actually... Uh, hey, you get out of here. Do we gotta use bombs? We gotta use something. Oh, uh... Well, so much for that. Alright, well, I guess what we actually have to do is use this elevator taking us back to Criteria, so we really have to do a lot of backtracking. But don't worry, we'll get what we need somewhere. There's a lot of these power-ups around. It's not as much of a one kind of thing as it is, uh... Shit, I'm blocked. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> um... Down there is just the yellow door we can't go in. Hmm. Do we go down here? Oh yes we do, okay. Whew, I was a little worried for a moment that I'd softlock the game by going in kind of a strange area. But we can go down here with these weird... Slug husks? I really don't like these guys, gonna be honest. And through this green door, and this is the one we need to go through now that I'm looking at it again, yeah. As we go through here, we have another Chozo statue, and there it is! The Power Bomb! The Power Bomb allows us to... well... I'll just let it speak for itself, how about? Let's head back into that room with all those enemies over there, and with those kind of Power Bomb markers clearly blocking the way. Oh, enemies! <laughs> yes. And another Power Bomb for the collection. These power bombs are a screen nuke. They break through certain blocks, as well as those yellow doors that have been so pesky and troublesome for us. They also kind of destroyed all the floor here, making it a bit difficult to get back, but that's fine. And we could just backtrack to Norfair, but I might as well take this new path that we've discovered through Criteria, now that we can break through the yellow doors. And to use power bombs, well, it kind of explains itself. You basically just select them like you would a missile or a super missile, and then do a morph ball bomb. Now it'll be a power bomb. And just like those missiles and super missiles we've been collecting throughout the game, we're gonna have to collect more uh, expansions for power bombs, because they are a limited quantity, and we don't want to go this way yet now that I'm looking at it. Are we in Criteria, or is this still Brinstar? We're in Criteria, but this is still the Brinstar music. Weird. Traveling through here... Is it possible we could have gone this way at the start? Maybe. Oh wait, no, that's a super missile door, never mind. Um, also, what is this? Is this... Uh, speed boost? No, it's bomb. Man, you don't hear Criteria's music nearly enough. You're always in Brinstar, Norfair, a few other areas we'll go to later on in the game, but it's nice to come back here to the ship sometimes, um, and rest up, you know, get all our health and our ammo back, and save the game. 